In this video, we take a look at the forum module, which comes as part of Drupal Core in version 7. Under the modules menu in the administrative back end, I've already enabled the forum module. You can see the tick box next to it when I scroll down. So I'm going to click on configure and you'll see in there a number of forums that I've already set up. You'll also see that I can list forums under containers. So I have an all general discussions container and a local discussions container. And I can also build forums within forums. So for example, I've got men from the north within general for men under general discussions. If I click on add a container, I can create a container name, give it a description and decide whereabouts in my hierarchy it sits. And I can also do the same for individual forums. Again, with a forum, I can give it a name, give it a description, and then place it somewhere within the forum hierarchy. Underneath settings, I can determine how many topics are required to make a uh, topic hot. So there's a drop down list there, where I can select the number of um, replies that a topic must have to be considered hot. I can also determine how many topics appear per page. And I can also determine to what order the topics will appear on, whether it's by the oldest first or the most active first. It's also possible for me to weight forums as well so that they can appear according to what weighting of importance I give them editorially when I set them up. I'm now going to show you an example of actually how I can change how the forums display. So if you look here under uh, general discussions for men, under men from the south, Currently, you'll see that the Isn't the South Great sits above should Cornwall have a first-class county cricket team. And you can see that it's the oldest one that appears first. Now back on the forum setting page, I'm going to change it so that it's the most popular or the most active ones that appear first in my listing. And when we go back to the forum, you'll actually see that the order of those two has changed. I'm now going to log in as a standard user called Dr. No and go in and create a uh, forum post myself. Click on forums in the navigation module. Click on add new forum topic. And then from the front end, I can create that new forum topic. So I'm going to create a post here about um, Brighton Rock and why was it filmed on Eastbourne Pier. When I create my forum, I can choose which forum I'm going to post it into. So this will go into Eastbourne Discussions. I can also tag my forum post or associate it with a hierarchy so that it can be related to other content across the site. And there's my forum topic live on the site. Then as a logged out user, I'm going to go and have a look at that forum uh, post that I just created. And I want to comment on it, but I can't comment on it unless I'm uh, logged in. Rather than logging in as Dr. No, this time I'm going to log in as Dr. Who. And then I can add my comment. Now you'll notice that when I add a comment, it's only the comment field that's actually required. And uh, so I don't have to put anything in subject. But if I just type something in the comment field, when I actually save that comment, you'll see that it actually duplicates in the subject field as well. So I've got yes it was and yes it was. And then using triggers and action within Drupal Core, I can actually set it so that when I create a comment, that I actually get sent an email telling me that I've created a comment. Now under my own user profile, I can go in, I can see there's one new comment, so I can click on that and I can kind of make a comment myself. I'm going to actually put something in different for the subject and the comment here, and then you'll see that both of those will appear when I submit that. So as with so many modules in Drupal, when you really start to exploit the power is when you actually start setting up user permissions. Here I can choose what type of users administer forums. And here I can set up what type of users can either create forum topics, add comments to forum topics, edit their own forum topics or delete their own forum topics. 
And then finally, there's the permissions around comments. Comments can obviously apply to forum posts, but they can also apply to articles as well. And you can determine whether registered or non-registered users can view comments, add comments, and whether their comments need to be approved as part of your moderation process. This page here contains a Drupal view, which is linked to an RSS feed, which lists all the posts from a forum. This is a particularly useful way of being able to associate forum posts with other relevant content across the rest of your site. So for example, if we've got a section about Brighton, we could have in the right hand column a view which actually lists all of the relevant forum posts about Brighton. Finally, you'll see I've just created a standard page on the Cornwall cricket team. Um, if I go to search and search for Cornwall, you'll see that in the results, I actually get that page returned in the search results. But I also get forums which actually mention Cornwall within their um, content as well. So you can see that search can include content from article types or from forums because forums in themselves are Drupal content types.